Hello everybody, thanks for joining for another issue of Sam's Device Advice. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Google Drive. So if this is one of your first uh, few years using Google Drive, it's always good to get a little bit of a refresher. So today we're going to be looking at using Google Drive to create files, organizing our files, especially using folders, taking a look at the search function, and also having a quick peek at templates. In a future video, we're gonna go through Google Docs and Google Slides in a little bit more detail. This is gonna be just using Google Drive itself. So once again, let's take a look at my desktop and get started here. So what we see is we're looking at my Google Chrome browser right when I open it up, and this is what they call the new tab page. You can customize that, but we can look at that in another video as well. So let's go ahead and find Google Drive. Now in a previous video, we've actually made these bookmarks up at the top. So I could go ahead and click on my Google Drive icon. But another way to do that is to follow my mouse and go up to this uh, nine little buttons or nine little dots up here. Uh, Google calls this the waffle. Now if I click on the waffle, you can see a collection of all of Google's apps that are available to me. Um, and if you scroll down, you can actually find more. And there's some pretty cool tools that are in there. Um, another nice feature with this waffle is that you can, can click and drag these around. So if you find you're using some apps more than others, you can organize it to make it a little bit more uh, personable for you. And again, if you log into your Chrome browser like we talked about in a previous video, these settings will follow you around as well. So let's go ahead and open up Google Drive. So this is Go your Google Drive homepage and think of Google Drive kind of like your Windows desktop. Whenever you make files, whenever you upload files, they're going to be found here. And there's a few different windows that we can look at. So let's go just from top down. So we have our, our, our search menu up at the top. And the search is actually incredibly powerful when you're using this. Um, not only could you just type in a search here, you can uh, narrow your search results a little bit more if you're looking for a specific type of file. Um, but if I click this little drop down arrow, it's going to allow me quite a bit more control. So again, I can look for the type of thing that I'm searching for. I can see if there's if it's something that I created or if somebody had shared it to me, um, which is why it would have not owned by me. Or I could actually type in a specific person's email to find that uh, something that somebody else created. I can click on this location and I can see if there's a specific folder that I want to search within. And you also can search in the trash see if it's starred, which is a favorited option. And then you can also decide when it was last modified. So if you had different versions of it. So this search is actually very, very handy. Um, if you're not very organized with your Google Drive, even though you should be, and I'll show you how, uh, Google's gonna make your life pretty easy, even if you're not. Um, you have a little help button up at the top here, um, which is gonna give you some tutorials of how to use Google Drive. Um, you have your settings button, which uh, we're going to look at in a future video as well. Again, we have our Google Apps waffle, so I can go through my different website or my different apps available. Um, now, these two buttons are going to customize how your Google Drive looks. So my drive right now is uh, put into list view, so they're just stacked one on top of each other. If I'd like it a little bit bigger, if I want to be able to see previews, I could click on that button and turn this into um, grid view. And now it's going to show me uh, a, a bit, little window of what I'm looking at, as opposed to list view, which is just going to stack them. I prefer this way just because I can see more at once, um, but to each their own. And then this little eye up at the top is going to open up the details window. Now details can be pretty handy, especially if you're working with things that are shared. So you can click on different uh, files that you've made. You can see the activity when it was created, the last person to log in, and you can also uh, click on details and see a little preview. You can see if it's shared and um, just some extra information there. And if you wanna get rid of it, you're just gonna click hide details. So once you're in Google uh, Drive, let's talk about how to create um, files and create folders. The easiest way is you're going to find this uh, big plus at the top left and you're going to see new. If your window is shrunk down a little bit, you're only going to see the plus. You might not see new as well. Um, and if I click on this, it's going to give me a drop down of a, a few different options. So this is where I'd create a new folder to stay organized. Um, this is Google Docs, which is their version of uh, a word processor. Google Sheets is their spreadsheet program. 
and Google Slides is their presentation program. Now, if I hover over more, you can see that there's a few other options down here. And my phone is talking to me right now. So I can scroll down through here and I can see Google Forms, which is their version of a uh, survey program. You have Google Drawings, which is their version of kind of like uh, Publisher. Um, and then Maps and a Website Maker, which is pretty cool too. So uh, let's say I want to make a new Google Doc. All I need to do is click on Google Doc and it's gonna open up a new uh, empty word processor for me. Now, I'm gonna show you now, so it's opened up a new tab at the top. If I go back to my Google Drive, it's created this untitled document right on my, um, my main directory, if you will, my My Drive. Um, now, you won't see it here because I haven't started typing, but this is an example page. And now, Let's get rid of my read and write toolbar. Again, I'm gonna talk about the read and write toolbar in a different video coming up. Um, so now that I have this example page, if I click up in this uh, titled area, it's gonna take my first line from my, uh, from my writing and make that my title. And if we go back to the My Drive page, uh, you're gonna see this document down here. So wherever you are in My Drive, when you click New, that's where your um, that's where your document is going to be created. So if I put it, if I was opened in my Assistive Tech Training folder and cr clicked New, that's where you're going to find that uh, document later on. Now, as you can see, we have these folders, which makes life quite a bit easier to stay organized. Again, to make a folder, click on the plus and New click on folder and then create a name for this. So I'm just gonna call this one test folder and click create. And now it pops up here. Now here's a little tip for you. I like to do this for organizing later on. On this left hand column where you have my drive, computers and shared with me, if you click this little arrow beside my drive, it's gonna expand all of the folders you have. And what this does is it allows you to um, dig a little bit deeper into the folders so if I wanted to transfer, let's say, this example page, I wouldn't have to click on it and drag it up to the top, drag it into this folder, open it, then open the next folder, and so on. I can just drag this uh, document over to the left, and I can drop it into whichever folder or subfolder that I want to. Um, so it just speeds up your organization a little bit more, which I'm a big fan of. So I'm going to put that one in my test class. And if you see this, this is just letting you know that the folder you dropped it in is a shared folder. And we're gonna talk about sharing in our next video and uh, getting a little bit deeper into Google Drive. And um, that's pretty much the basics of it. The last thing you might wanna do is start color coding your folders like you see here. Um, if you right click on a folder or again on your Chromebook, uh, use two fingers and tap, um, you're gonna get this context menu and you can rename your folders here you can change the color of the folder. Um, so they only give you a bit of a limited one, but I could change it to a purple folder. Um, and you can also star them. Starring it is kind of like favoriting or bookmarking specific files or folders. If I were to click add to starred, um, I can find my starred lists down here on my left hand column. So if I click starred, I'm gonna find them there. Um, you also have recent, so this is going to show you the recent fo uh, files or folders that you've opened up. Um, your trash is obviously what you've deleted, and backups is just when your uh, computer is last uh, synced, sunk, however you want to do that, past tense of sync. So that's essentially all we're going to look at today. So we talked about updating or opening up Google Drive, we talked about creating files and organizing them, we use search. And I completely forgot to show you templates. So let's take a quick peek at templates before I leave you. So I'm gonna click on new again, but instead of clicking directly on either Google Docs or Sheets, I can um, hover over this little arrow to the right and click from a template. Now, if I click from a template, it's gonna open up a new window or a new tab, sorry, and bring me to Google's template gallery. Now your school might have a bunch of templates or just random ones people have been creating on their own. Um, so you're going to see another option up here that would say your school board's name and then you'll also say template gallery. Um, but in here it's actually pretty handy. You have uh, pre-made resumes that are great for you or for students to use, um, official letters that are made. You can get into pet resumes for some reason. 
Um, but it's kind of nice because you also have pr uh, project proposals or meeting notes. You can have brochures and newsletters created for you. Um, any of these that you see the word add-on, you have to download an additional program for it. Um, some of them are actually pretty good, but just keep in mind that it's going to ask you to install something additional um, to use those templates. But any of them that don't have the add-on button there mean that they are free to use and you don't have to install anything else. And lastly, down at the bottom underneath education, you'll see essays and reports, but you also have lesson plan outlines too. Okay, so now that we've gone through to creating files, organizing, searching, and using templates, that's the, uh, the intro to Google Drive. And in a future video, we're going to get a little bit deeper into some of the features. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to send them to sam at samgoving.com or uh, add it to the comments section below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Cheers.